Welcome to the groovy world of cinematic nostalgia beyond the Valley of the Dolls. Have you ever wondered about the enduring impact of a film that, against all odds, defied categorization? This 1970 gem stands as a testament to the ever-evolving landscape of the film industry. As we delve into the essence of this cult classic, ponder this, what lasting qualities transform a movie into an everlasting symbol of the industry? Before we journey further, reflect on this. Can you recall a personal story where this film left an indelible mark on your life? Or perhaps, consider the enduring qualities that have etched it into the annals of cinematic history. Now, let's uncover some fascinating trivia about Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. Did you know that the film's screenplay was penned by none other than renowned film critic Roger Ebert? Yes, the same Ebert celebrated for his critical acumen took a plunge into screenwriting creating a piece that defies conventions and expectations. The film's quirky mix of satire, drama, and psychedelic allure has made it a unique and memorable entry in the cinematic universe. As we celebrate this cinematic oddity, we're eager to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic journey? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. And there you have it, a glimpse into the enigmatic beyond the valley of the dolls of film that transcends the boundaries of its era, leaving an indelible mark on those who dare to explore its unconventional narrative. Dive into the past, share your experiences, and let the conversation begin. Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, a film made on a modest budget of $900,000 turned into a surprising hit, grossing 10 times its cost in the US market. This success marked a bright spot for the struggling 20th Century Fox. However, the film, directed by Russ Mayer, raised eyebrows and controversy due to its X rating, despite being tamed by today's standards. The studio faced criticism for entrusting a Hollywood film to Mayer, labeled a pornographer by the mainstream press. The movie's financial triumph didn't shield it from negative publicity. Grace Kelly, a board member at Fox, vehemently opposed Mayer's association with the studio. Outraged by the film's content, she lobbied to terminate the contract with Mayer. The studio's subsequent disappointment with Mayer's next project, The Seven Minutes, led to the termination of their collaboration. Mayer, known as King Lear at the time, never directed another film for a major studio. Adding to its legacy, Beyond the Valley of the Dolls found its place in the official Razzie movie guide among the 100 most enjoyably bad movies ever made, according to Golden Raspberry Award founder John Wilson. The film's cult status and notoriety as an entertainingly bad production have endured over the years. Screenwriter Roger Ebert's revelation adds an intriguing layer to the film's creation. Ebert disclosed that Z-Man's secret, a central element of the plot, was a last-minute addition not conceived until late in filming. While fans speculate that hints in the dialogue suggest the secret, Ebert dismisses this as mere coincidence. In conclusion, Beyond the Valley of the Dolls stands as a financial success with a tumultuous production history, facing backlash for its director's controversial reputation. Its inclusion in the list of enjoyably bad movies further cements its unique place in cinematic history. John Waters hailed it as the funniest film ever made in his autobiography, Shock Value, a tasteful book about bad taste. This acclaim speaks to the unconventional charm that Beyond the Valley of the Dolls holds. The movie, made on a modest budget, unexpectedly became a commercial success, grossing ten times its cost in the U.S. market. However, controversy loomed as the film received an X rating, a label deemed provocative in its time. Russ Mayer, the director, faced a dilemma when confronted with the X rating. He desired to re-edit the film, infusing more explicit content. Surprisingly, 20th Century Fox, eager to expedite the film's release, opposed Mayer's plan, opting for a swift entry into theaters. This clash between artistic vision and commercial expediency adds a layer of intrigue to the film's history. In a curious connection to its predecessor, a widely circulated publicity picture features the three female leads in identical outfits worn by the stars of the original Valley of the Dolls. Dolly Reed, Cynthia Myers, and Marsha McBroom recreate a bed pose reminiscent of Sharon Tate, Patty Duke, and Barbara Parkins, adding an interesting visual link between the two films. Beyond the Valley of the Dolls' journey is marked not only by financial success, 
but also by the clash between creative intent and commercial decisions. It stands as a testament to the era's shifting sensibilities, capturing attention for its audacious narrative and daring approach to filmmaking. In a cut dream sequence from Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, actress Kelly dons a Union Jack flag ensemble, receiving advice from her deceased mother. The excised footage, aiming to avoid an X rating, also includes a scene where Casey faces a disturbing encounter during a film casting interview. Unfortunately, this footage remains lost and unseen. Meanwhile, the screenplay for the film was crafted by Roger Ebert in just six weeks, showcasing a swift yet impactful creative process. Adding to the film's unique charm is its soundtrack, featuring bands like Strawberry Alarm Clock, known for their hit incense, and Peppermints. The song sets the tone in the first party scene, contributing to the film's vibrant atmosphere alongside fictional band Carrie Nations. Despite its unconventional elements, Beyond the Valley of the Dolls faced challenges with its X rating, leading to clashes between artistic vision and commercial decisions. The film's success, grossing ten times its budget, highlighted a shift in 1970s cinematic sensibilities. Beyond financial triumph, the movie's journey reflects the era's audacious narrative choices, capturing attention for its daring approach to filmmaking. Discover more about this cult classic that left an indelible mark on cinematic history. The cream-colored pants suit worn by Kelly in the film has a connection to Sharon Tate's outfit in Valley of the Dolls. This subtle link between the two movies adds an interesting layer of continuity. Additionally, the character Z-Man, loosely based on Phil Spector, reflects the filmmaker's ability to capture the essence of a legendary figure without direct interaction. The Criterion Collection's effort to secure Blu-ray distribution rights faced a unique condition. They had to include Valley of the Dolls in the deal. Both films eventually received a Blu-ray release in September 2016. These behind-the-scenes details highlight intriguing connections and negotiations surrounding Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, providing a deeper understanding of its production and legacy. As the credits roll and the cinematic curtain draws to a close, we find ourselves at the crossroads of nostalgia and contemplation. Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, a celluloid journey into the kaleidoscopic realms of the human experience, beckons you to peer into the recesses of your own narrative. It's not merely a movie, it's a mirror reflecting the vibrant hues of our lives. Whether you first encountered the film amidst the grainy charm of an old theater, or in the cozy embrace of your living room, the echoes of its psychedelic narrative likely linger in the corridors of your memory. Perhaps it's the rebellious spirit, the pulsating soundtrack, or the audacious blend of genres that has etched its imprint on your cinematic consciousness. As we bid adieu to this cinematic odyssey, consider this an invitation to unravel your personal tapestry woven with the threads of Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. What memories does it conjure? What emotions does it stir within you? Share your reflections, for in the diversity of our perspectives, we discover the enduring magic of this celluloid gem. In this shared dialogue, let the tapestry of our collective experiences unfurl, bridging the gap between celluloid dreams and the vivid mosaic of our own stories. Your thoughts are not mere footnotes, but integral chapters in the narrative of Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. Thank you for allowing the realms of cinema to intertwine with the tapestry of your memories and musings. Your time and reflections are cherished, creating a richer, more nuanced appreciation for this cinematic masterpiece. Until our narratives converge again, explore the celluloid landscapes that resonate with your soul. Crafted with cinematic enchantment and human connection, this outro is.